Scenes like this becoming more common in Connecticut as DEP tracks a growing bear population. Those animals roaming streets and yards, even climbing trees. They estimate statewide is about 1,200 animals. Uh, their population increases by about 10% a year. Some situations turning dangerous. State Senator Eric Berthel hears those stories. Uh, we saw bear attacks on human beings, which um, is not something we talked a whole lot about over the last five or six years. Uh, I've received countless complaints in my office about nuisance bears. That's where a new state law comes in. It allows someone to kill a bear if a person reasonably believes the bear could seriously hurt a person or a pet, or if the animal is entering a building with people inside. The legislation also allows DEP to issue permits to kill bears that threaten or cause damage to crops and livestock. If we allow a certain amount of those animals to be taken out of that population, it will actually control the population. Critics of the bill worry it could be abused. I am concerned that the bill's a little bit too broad and it allows people, you know, to go out on a trail hike with a gun because they may potentially encounter a bear. I think this is the right approach because it's the uh, the only action we've taken. Prior to this, we had no way to uh, to help protect people who are trying to live in the homes that they have here in our beautiful state. The bill also creates a fine for people who intentionally feed bears. Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.